Hey everyone, it's Miss K. Today we are going to be working on origami, a continuation of origami, but we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be using strips of paper because we are going to be doing strip folding, which is a variant on traditional origami. Traditional origami, you don't cut the paper. With strip folding, you do. Here's an example that I've started. You can see I'm folding it into a cube. It's going to be a star, um, which is what you guys are working on today. For this activity, you're going to need a scissors, which are all at your stations, pencil, ruler, could be metal ruler, could be a wooden ruler, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that the unit of measurement is inches, because that is what we're going to use. You're also getting strips of paper. These strips of paper are not the right size, so do not start folding with these strips of paper. It's not going to turn out right. Um, why did I give you strips of paper that were not the correct size? Good question. That is because I did not want to give you all full sheets of paper, eight and a half by 11, and have you just cut off a little half inch of that paper and then have the rest of that paper be garbage. That seemed really wasteful. So I gave you sizes that were close to what you would need, but not exact. You're gonna to have to do the measurement yourself, which I think you can do. What you're gonna do is you are gonna take your strips and you are gonna measure them and cut them into half inch strips. When you are measuring, just a little reminder, don't start at the edge of the ruler, that's not right. Start at the first line, not the edge, that first line, so move it over. And then find where the half inch is and then make a little pencil mark. I'm gonna do that right now. And I like to do it twice, once, a little way away from one edge and one a little way away from the other edge and that is so that when I hold up my ruler I can line them up with these little marks then draw a line right here so that I know that I am making something that is straight and even and it's not something that's going to be a half inch on one side and maybe like three quarters of an inch on another side then when you draw your line, it looks like that, and you're gonna be cutting along that line. And I've done one here, so it's gonna be about a half inch. You're gonna to need to do that with your yellow, your red, and your blue or your green, whichever one I gave you. Um, you don't need both, you just need three colors. Then you are going to be learning to fold an origami three-dimensional star, which I think will be very cool to do. However, a reminder that origami, and hopefully we've learned this so far because we've done a couple different origami activities, origami is not a very forgiving art form, which means you need to be really precise. If you measure something and it's correct, it's incorrect, which means that it's, this paper's too thick or this paper's too thin, or your creases are not really sharp, or you're not, um, when you're working on this, you, you didn't pay attention to which direction the slants were when you were folding things together, because you are gonna cut slants on the edge, uh, edges of these once you start folding, um, you're gonna run into problems. And something else that you probably have also realized is that paper has memory. So once you make a fold in a piece of paper, that crease is gonna be there and that paper is always gonna wanna bend that way. So when you're doing this, um, I would say just make sure to go slow, keep pausing the activity, you can pause and rewind, pause and rewind. I've done that a couple times with this activity for this star activity because I just want to be sure to check, like I said, the direction of which way everything's folded, um, which way you're tucking things in. I had to, I think, when the last time I made these, I had to rewind the last part of it, I don't know, maybe five times to do it. But I think you'll find that when you get it done, it's very cool and it's a great feeling of satisfaction to get it done because you've made something that's really beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of art and it's also a little complicated. You've used your math skills as well. So you can be really proud of yourself. All right, good luck. Go ahead and watch the video below and it will show you how to fold your paper star. Okay.